All right, so it's a 1977 Pacer station wagon, kind of a rare one with the optional fake wood trim on the side. Um, it's actually in really good shape. It's been sitting in Beverly Hills of all places, which you would assume like a neighbor or somebody would have gotten rid of this car by now. Um, the house looks like it's it's in pretty rough shape. That uh, small peel must have lived in it. Uh, but as you can see, it was last tagged in 1990. Still has the original Glendale uh, American Motors dealer frames. It's a one owner car that I'm picking up today. Uh, hopefully, two of the tires aired up, two of them did not. Uh, but we'll see if we can still get it on the trailer. Uh, the interior is actually in really good shape. Um, the car actually only has, as you can see, 50,000 miles. And the seats are actually in good shape, it has the typical sheepskin cover but usually it covers up ripped seats in this case uh, the seat is not ripped back seats in good condition door panels in good condition um see if i get the hood open it was opening before i, I kind of used a hose to get rid of some of the dirt that caught in the cowl it has the 258 uh, straight six in it um so I'm going to see, uh, we're going to get this car out of here and see if we can get her uh, running. Uh, today I'm uh, out here at the Rose Bowl parking lot with my 1977 AMC Pacer DL station wagon. Uh, you may remember the Pacer from Wayne's World. That's probably what it's most known for. I mean, if you own one of these, you get all the Wayne's World jokes, just like the guys with the DeLoreans get all the uh, Back to the Future jokes. Um, this car uh, I've owned for almost two years. I actually got it out of uh, Beverly hills believe it or not it was uh, in the back of a mansion uh off of uh, santa monica boulevard um and the story is like a family member died the mother uh, couldn't bear to part with it so it kind of got shoved in the backyard uh in, in about 1990 and then years later when they had to clear out the house uh when it was sold uh they had to sell it which was uh, two years ago back in 2017 they put it on craigslist originally they thought they were gonna have to call the junkyard to haul it away they put it on craigslist to see if any Anybody actually wanted the car uh, originally they were giving it away then they got a lot of interest uh, so then they decided they wanted 400 for it so I was the first one to go out there to actually look at it and uh, pick it up I actually have a car trailer so got it on the car trailer hauled it out of there it took a good chunk of a day because all the tires were completely shredded um, but it was it was good bones I mean the, the paint was completely faded it sat outside uh, there was a lot of dirt in the car uh, what else? I mean, it, it really, it was, but all the bones were there. I mean, the, 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 the stuff, the interior was in really good shape, which it still is. I mean, the car only had about 50,000 miles, currently has about 52,000. Uh, just basically use it for going around to local car events, cruise nights, and things like that, a few car shows. Um, one thing about owning an AMC Pacer is you get a lot of attention. I've owned a lot of classic cars. Uh, this one is probably one of them that got the most attention. Uh, so I'm going to give you a good tour of the car and kind of give you a, a good idea of what to look for if you're actually looking to buy an AMC Pacer because uh, a lot of things that I didn't know uh, so let, let's see what we got here all right, so we're going to start with the front of the car. Uh, as you can see, I mean, this one has the uh, fake wood on the side, which is kind of rare. This is really like a fully loaded Pacer, as, as Pacers go. Majority of the Pacers and, and AMCs in general were, were low-optioned cars, as, as they were pretty expensive cars. Um, to find one that basically has most of the options on it, I think the only thing... I, I have the original uh, window sticker on this car. I think the only thing it didn't have... It had an AM radio, so it didn't have like the 8-track or anything like that. And it has, I believe, a dealer-installed Blaupunkt AM FM cassette. If it wasn't done at the dealer, it was done back then uh, as it fits in the slot uh, where the radio goes. Um, because, uh, you know, back then a lot of the car companies hadn't switched to cassette yet. Uh, and so people were kind of angry because they kept putting 8-tracks in these cars when most people were switching to cassettes. Uh, since you know the eight tracks used to eat the tapes a lot, uh, so starting with the front of the car, when I got the car, it actually didn't uh, the the windshield was actually cracked, and this is kind of interesting. I got on a website. There's actually a website. I think it's even still up uh, about. AMC Pacers and it talks about that the windshields are still available. They are actually not still available and they're very hard to find. Um, 
I'd say a lot of the pacers you find out there have cracked windshields. Uh, if you find one with a cracked windshield, just know you're going to be searching for a windshield for a while. I actually had to buy a parts car uh, out of the desert that luckily had a good windshield. Uh, I had to buy this parts car just to get the windshield. I got a lot of other good parts off of it, including the engine and transmission. I still have the doors, the hood, uh, a lot of other bits and pieces. I sold a lot of it to other people that are that are uh, restoring uh, pacers, but I kept some of the stuff that I thought I might need in the future. Uh, that, and that one was actually a 77 uh, pacer wagon as well, but but not with the wood. It was like a base model, low option car, but with a 258 and an automatic. Uh, the 77, the Pacers go 1975 to 1980. Uh, the 75 to 77 had this style grill on it. Uh, 78, they went to a grill where it's kind of raised in the middle, almost like a Rolls Royce grill. Um, more people seem to prefer the early style grill because it's, it's kind of like the classic, classic Pacer look, uh, that people remember. Of course, and it's also, uh, the, the front end that was on the, uh, Wayne's World car. Uh, 1977 was when the wagon came out. So 77 to 80s, uh, the, the wagon was available. So this is the first year of the wagon. It's the only year the wagon was available with the early style grill. Uh, most Pacers have a, have a six cylinder engine, but it's like a 232 and then of course the 258, which this one has. And then I think a 7980, you could get the 304 V8, but not a lot of them were, were made uh, with that. Um, another thing to look at on Pacers is the door panels. These guys are very hard to find in good condition. As you can see, it's raised up right here. This is as far as the window goes down. Um, so they made this raised piece. Now this is plastic, the entire door panel is actually made out of plastic on this car uh, except for the padded area right here um as you can imagine especially on this is a southern california car any areas where it's hot where you get a lot of sun the sun beats down on this and just turns it into dust so it's kind of hard to find these where they're not destroyed i mean this one has a few cracks in it but I mean, definitely above average. You can see on the back piece of plastic here, it's, it's already gotten pretty faded. I keep a cover on this thing. I don't have an inside place for this right now, but I always keep a cover on it because I don't want it to deteriorate any more than it, it is. Uh, I mean, the seats are actually still in good shape in this car. Uh, it's got the back seat, which actually flips down. Uh, and there's actually an ad I've seen online. Uh, original ad for this car showed people camped out in a Pacer station wagon. So if you were born in the late 70s, chances are you might have actually been conceived in a Pacer station wagon and you're all the better for it. Um, so climbing the interior of this car, I mean the dash pad, of course, anything with a dash pad from that era is subject to like warpage and breakage and things like that. I think because this one with the car sat outside all those years, but I think what really helped it was that it was under trees, although it had a lot of tree droppings inside. I had, I had to clean out the insides of the fenders and all the places where that stuff drops into. Uh, as you can see, this car right now currently has 52,000 uh, miles on it. There's the uh, ballpunked uh, AM FM cassette. Uh, this one actually has the rear wiper and washer. Uh, like I said, this one's like a pretty heavily optioned car. And on a Pacer, this is kind of neat. It has the uh, inside uh, you know, vanity mirror with the light, which, I mean, as Pacers go, most Pacers have just the standard interior light. This one's actually got the map lights, too, uh, similar to what they put, like, on a Lincoln back then. Might even probably is the same part they used that Ford used. Um... Also on this car, this car has three out of four of the original AMC logo floor mats. I would like to get one for the other side uh, to match it. I haven't found one yet, um, but it has three out of four of the originals. Um, like I said, I've got the original owner's manuals. I got the original window sticker for this car. I got the original warranty card. I am legitimately the second owner of this car uh, since 1977, since it was sold new. I've actually got the lighter, but I, I leave the lighter out because obviously I like to plug my phone in. Uh, the heater works in this car. I got the AC recharged, so the AC actually works. Um, the only thing I think that doesn't work on this car currently is the horn, which I need to figure out uh, why, why the horn's not working. I, I really got to trace that out. Uh, I'm going to pop the hood on this guy. Uh, all right, so I'm going to come around and open the hood of the car uh, so you can see what, what's going on underneath the hood. 
So basically, they, you know, originally these cars were supposed to come with a Wankel rotary engine that AMC was going to source uh, from General Motors, and then GM decided to uh, not do the Wankel engine project. So. AMC had to cram their six-cylinder engine. As you can see, it goes under the firewall on this car. Uh, I've already had to do a, 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 a valve cover gasket on this car. It is not, not fun. Uh, you can see where, where it goes back underneath the uh, windshield there. Um, only thing that's been modified on this car is uh, we upgraded to a HEI distributor because the, the, the original uh, distributors on these cars were were very, very prob problematic. Uh, a lot of the Jeep, Jeep guys uh, ran into problems with them too, so I just upgraded to an HEI just to take care of that. This one's actually got the uh, underhood light that still works as well, which is kind of neat. Um, this car actually, when, when I got it running, it had sat all those years. I actually got it running, it kind of barely ran, took it down, and it actually passed smog uh, before it was actually tuned, before I tuned it up. So. I don't know, I'm hoping, the smog's actually coming up in a couple months for this car, so I'm hoping I have the same luck, because unfortunately in California, we're still smogging 1977 cars. Uh, we still have to smog everything uh, 76 and newer, which is kind of scary, because stuff's kind of getting hard to find. Um, coming around the uh, other side of the car, I mean, I'll show you how the rear deck works. Um, like I said, it's got the original license plates. I got the DMV to put them back on. Original dealer license plate frames from uh, Glendale, which is actually one town over from me. I live in Pasadena. Uh, this is how everything folds down. This piece actually goes on the tailgate, but the, the staples broke. So I've got to actually staple that back up. Just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, has a little compartment here. Um, where you keep stuff. You can see I got some transmission fluid. I think an air filter. Uh, underneath here is where your spare tire goes. I'm not going to take that all apart. I actually got these shocks uh, for the rear deck. As you can imagine, after all those years, they were completely blown. Got those from Rock Auto. I think they were like 20, they were like really cheap. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for them. Another thing to watch out on these Pacer wagons, these taillights are kind of like siliconed in. Uh, from the factory and over time you can imagine the the housings are made out of metal Whereas the lenses are plastic. So over time, especially in the Sun these tend to warp. So What happens a lot is once it warps it, You know and then this the the sealant that holds it in gets old they'll pop out actually I had one pop out in a car wash um, So I actually have taken them apart on both sides and re-siliconed them uh, they seem to be fine now. This one you can see more. There's kind of a lip right here where it's warped. I mean, they're holding on. My parts car actually, they had actually taken a screw and just put a big old screw there just to hold it on. So I imagine taillight lenses are kind of scarce on these because of that problem. Um, I'm going to leave it all original. This, this actually is the original paint from 1977, just buffed out. Uh, the wood is the original. I'm just going to leave it all original. I did put the torque thrust wheels on it because I have three good wheels. One of the wheels, unfortunately, I had to use a sledgehammer to get off the car because it was stuck when I got it from sitting for so many years, and it bent the rim. So this one actually originally had the accessory, uh, the optional turbine wheels on it. Um, so that's basically it for my Pacer. This one's definitely a keeper. In fact, uh, my nine-year-old daughter absolutely adores this car. Um, she's told me never to sell it, so I'm definitely not going to sell it. Uh, and I'll probably be out there at different car shows uh, this year uh, with it. Uh, probably try to take it to a couple like AMC meets here in Southern California if I can. Uh, depending on what's going on on the particular weekends. But it's just a good solid car, and I just thought I'd share it with you today.